Hey, Claire Bear. Uh, yeah, last night I was just trying to test some stuff. Um, the goal was to try HDR streaming. Um, let me get away from this over speaking. Um, initially I was thinking it was a problem with HDR that was borking the stream, but I later found out today after some experimentation that that's not the case. Um, it doesn't really give a shit if it's HDR or not. The problem turned out to be bitrate. I was pushing too high of a bitrate, and it was borking the transcoder. So people were not getting an option to pick a differing resolution. I did some experimentation this morning with multiple accounts and multiple bit rates. And Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Alright, so let's grab this vulture. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following That was a fast delivery. Holy shit. And where are we going? Okay. How are you doing, Claire Bear? You doing all right? Uh, elevator, por favor. Yeah, we go. Hang on. You're all right. Good deal. How's that new PC treating you? You are what? We are discussing Kermitzer v. Dover this week. Kermitzer v. Dover? I'm not familiar. What is Kermitzer v. Dover? This year was better than last year. We didn't seem to have as many creationists. Oh. Gotcha. Can't have teachers teaching evolution. Gotcha. All right. All right, let's take off. Get out of here. Oh. I meant to set my contrast back up. Contrast back up, please. Just a little bit. Make it look nice. Hey, Claire Bear. Um, I can barely hear you. Let me get out of here and I'll bump oh, the volume up. No, no, it's me. It's me. Okay. That's a little better. Let me let me check my volume on my side to make sure I don't have a problem on my side. I turned on sonar, so Okay, yeah, I got you up to ninety now. There you go. That, now, right? Oh, that's much better now. That's much better. <clears throat> For whatever reason you were down to eighty on your end. No. Uh you were at eighty before. Eighty is always good for me. Mm -hmm. It seems like. I, I gotta bring people down from a hundred, generally. Yeah. So Yeah, I played around with the volume and stuff, and <sighs> the eternal struggle. Yeah. I'm going to give Star Citizen another try. She's been a cruel, cool, cool mistress time. lately. Just, just one last time, and then you're done with it forever, yeah. <laughs> right. Done with it for the day. Now. You don't need I've been playing the hell out of Starfield, man. I bet it looks good. Um, and replayability, because you can make a different kind of character and play the game in mm -hmm. a different way, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that and I'm taking my time. I haven't even progressed the main storyline much. I've been doing side quests yeah. and exploring. Nice. I hear the companions have moods, like uh, SWOTOR, like certain interactions with... 
oh. questline characters oh, yeah. make your companions yeah. feel certain ways. Yeah. Right? So I thought that was pretty neat that they incorporated that. It yeah. was one of the more fun parts of SWOTOR. Oh, Megan, have you tested uh, the whole scene? I tried it yesterday. I mean today. No. Nope. Uh, the last time I tried it, it would not dock, and then for whatever reason, it just attached itself to the middle of the docking arm. It would not let go. Okay. Um, but that was yesterday morning. Okay, so they said in the last patch, the hot fix that came out. Mm hmm. They said fixing the ATC, failing not to detect vehicles within the loading zones, and failing to. Cargo transfers. Okay, well, the problem I had was um, initially when I tried to dock, it gave me a non existent docking port assignment. So it sent me all the way down to the tail end of Seraphim, which there's no docking port. And Sorry, then it. Your docking port is in another castle. Right, pretty much. And then when I got down there, finally. Um, it timed out and then assigned me a different one to a real one this time. Um, but it would not actually finish. I mean, I got I got close enough where like my X, Y, and Z were point zero zero something, and it still wouldn't engage. And then finally, it just snapped to the docking arm. It would not let go. It just kept vibrating and twisting around it. Well, I, w I was going to buy a little bit of cargo on the sea, on the whole sea, and then fly the C2 out and see how effective and feasible it was to offload cargo from the whole sea to the C2. That's what I thought, too. It's like, but it just be more well, there's a couple situations when you would want to do that. The number one thing that comes to mind is piracy, of course. Uh, and then the other thing would be, like, if your whole if your whole C was damaged, how viable is it to offload it into a pair of C2s? Uh, and then the other scenario would be to buy goods with the whole C, load it into a C2, and sell it at stations that the whole C can't get into. I wonder. I think, I think, um, Jack Axton tried that, and it, it, it never gives the option. That was my understanding. I may be wrong. I do wish there was a way you could just leave the one bottom cargo grid just, just locked up somewhere. Oh, and could maybe, like, break it off or something? Or, like, how they do it on Let's grab our stuff. Actually, I may not even have to get in here at all. I may have to just do this from right here. The new Cyberpunk DLC is positive on Steam. Wait a minute, all the stuff I had on me is gone? What the fuck? Oh, fuck me. I'm going to have to go buy a multi-tool.
I was here last night and did the Ellen Ripley Express to go back to Orson. Welcome. And everything I had on me apparently is gone now. So let me see if I can buy it here. I am not a Grimhax. I forgot I logged out of the mole. Yeah. I was going to do some mole mining, but I need to make sure that with the changes I made to the streamer that I can still play SC on it. Uh, I need to find a way to calibrate it because when I pulled up to our core last night with HDR on, it was too bright to even see anything. It was just white out. Did you do the calibrations through Windows? I have not. I'd say try that. Okay, what kind of leg armor is this? ADP legs white? ADP legs white? don't know what you guys are doing over here. So I'm flipping on right now. Yeah, I haven't tried calibrating it, so... Man, what is with the audio? That sounds like shit. Is that coming through on stream? That is... Oh my god. We gotta stop that. We gotta get out of here. This is. I keep hearing. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, it was a music tripping it. Okay, so you're not you're not hearing that whoosh, 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 whoosh noise. Okay. All right. Well, it's driving me ape shit. Have to restart my game. Fuck. Okay, so we're gonna get a terracotta after well aftershock arms, aftershock torso, aftershock helmetses. I need aftershock legs. And I need a backpack. Alright, that should do that. And now I need to go to the cargo deck and get a multi-tool. And I don't know if they actually have any weapons here or not. Where are you at? Seraphim. They do. They do have weapons. Nice. I have a P4AR and a P8. That'll work just fine. I'll take a P8. Thank you. Another P8. Thank you. And Arminis. Arminises? Ammunitionses? Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 kind of what it sounds like, Claire. It's driving me absolutely insane. See now it's gone. So I'm like, what the fuck is this? Hmm. All right, let's uh, let's do zero. We'll buy these. We can buy med pins. Good. Let's buy four of those. Two, three, four. Nice. And we'll go down to the cargo deck and get the multi tool I need and tractor beam. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what it sounds like.
it's really weird. What the fuck is going on here? Somebody got bored. Uh, those carts. The death carts. Carts and carts and carts and carts. Absolutely. I hate when people do that. Yeah. I see now. Now this this one's blurry as hell. This kiosk is blurry as shit. All right, and now when you tractor beam, I mean, I can barely read that. All right, let's get out of here. Why is it so fucking blurry? All right, whatever. All right, let's outfit ourselves here. Put our closes is on. Got it. Utility. Let's put these on. I probably should have bought a medical tool. Didn't think about it. Weapons. And you. Okay, I think we're just about ready. Shard of a med tool. We are just about ready. And go to hangers and hand. Yeah. The, what the hell's going on with the audio? It is nasty. I mean, there's no way that's a database error. Tell me that's a fucking corrupted database. Let me just make sure I don't have some weird setting on audio that's causing it to be fucky. Uh, speech volume, computer volume, race mode, yes, full range. Speakers, verbosity, combat music. I don't see anything in here that would cause it to be fucky. Uh, describe it. Uh, I'm playing. Right now. It's nasty. It's just nasty. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. All right, let's grab this vulture. Vehicles. Your vehicle has been delivered. Oh, nice. Fuckers put cards here, too. Oh, wait, I didn't need to go to the cargo center. Fuck. You know, I think they should move, like, the admin terminal stations mm -hmm. to the cargo, cargo center. center. Agreed. You should you should go in there, and there'll be a place to be like, hey, I need my cargo. So it just doesn't make any sense there. And he gives a spot where you can actually add another store mm -hmm. in its place. Yeah, agreed. Alright. Okay, what have we got? I fill up on. I wouldn't fill up on anything until you know you can get off the station and sell it. I mean, I have no problem getting off the station. Today? Every, any, most of the times I've always gotten off. Not all the times, but most. Okay. So I've got. I can get copper in. Which is or hydrogen, do you think? Uh. I don't know. There was a chart they put. Actually. Look in Spectrum. Jack Axton made a post in Spectrum where he outlined the cargo routes and what the most practical, what the best, um... Ferret did. No, Jack Axton. Oh. I thought Ferret posted something about that. Uh, Ferret may have posted a picture that 
RSI posted, but Jack did a write up about here's your profit margins and here's what's wrong with it, and this price goes up if anyone sells. If you go through Spectrum, Jack made a post uh, about what was right and what was wrong with the whole scene. I don't remember where I found it, but it was in there. That in that post, he gave a, bra a, a uh, breakdown of the routes. I'll just, oh, take, I'll just try it out. I would, I would try the hydrogen. Yeah, it's, or no, I bought helium. So. Okay, helium works too. Is it really, it wouldn't let me buy the copper for some Is it stocky or what kind of stuff? See, now I'm hearing it outside too. What the hell? Let's just check our. Let's check our um, audio here and make sure I don't have something weird turned on, like, you know, spatial audio or some crap like that. More sound settings. No, nothing funky there. I don't see anything... That would be weird here. I don't think the guy that even noticed I was, I was in the same hangar with him. Okay, didn't have the extended thing. No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't. I don't see anything turned on on my sound that would cause it to be fucky. No special effects. Speakers. Let's try one, two. Two channels, 4800. Audio enhancements off, special sound off. Okay, yeah, everything's turned off. I shouldn't be hearing any funkiness. Contracts. Just in case, we'll take this and untrack it. Uh, salvage. A Terrapin and an Origin 100i. Where is this? Her L1. I'll take it. Where is it? Got it. Let's do this guy. There we go. All right. Oh. Got to do a couple of these to unlock them. Then we can do the big money ones, at least until they nerf them. Evaluation committee. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Right. Let me know if you get off of uh, Seraphim Station without any trouble. Yeah, but you're empty, though. I mean, after you get your cargo. Well, no, I guess you don't have to dock to do that, do you? Good luck. 
If you're going to run cargo, I can always grab the Vanguard or the Sabre and fly escort. That whole Z's a, a pirate hit waiting to happen. They released it in a really, really bad state. Yeah. I tried it in a PTU. I made one successful cargo purchase and sell in the PTU. Oh, yes, it's loading. Five minutes. Are you on my server? No. I, I don't think so. They still haven't fixed it where um, you can't see your damn your arms like sticking through your mobile glass. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like, yeah, it's been going on for four years. That needs to be fucking fixed. That shit should have been fixed four years ago. And they said they fixed it, but that was a fucking <laughs> oh, man. Maybe with a new Moby glass. We'll see. Whenever we get it. <laughs> Time will tell. I kind of wonder if they're going to do that. I wonder if maybe they're going to backpedal a little bit here. Uh, nuts. Hello, nuts. Oh, you guys are headed down there. Hey, goofball. Drive safe, guys. I'm glad you're getting a vacay. You're going to get to see your niece and or nephew. Um. So my question is... Yeah, what's up? Does it fill, I got a bunch of empty space. Does that fill those spaces up too? Um, did you buy a full load? Yeah, I bought a full load. Yeah, all the spaces should get filled. You know, it, is, I mean, it seems like it does like four on each arm and then it fills in the rest. Because I noticed that, that that it built four out on each arm and I was like, well, that's weird. And then it went back to putting onesies and twosies on each arm. I think I might know why it does that. <laughs> because those arms are completely separate. Hmm. Because they, those retract, actually. Both niece and nephew. Oh, hey, Moonraker. Hello, hello, how are you doing? Uh, better than you, you slacker. We got salvage to scrape and you're out fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> Drive, road, I know, I know. Drive, drive safe, buddy. Did you guys head out this afternoon, or? Uh, we were running a little late. We didn't get out. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we were running. Oh wow! So you won't even get there till in the morning. Yeah, about one. Probably uh, one thirty-two. We're gonna probably one thirty. Yes, don't forget the southern the southern double burger thingy, I think it is. Let me pull up water burger here and I'll tell you. <laughs> oh no, that's that's a frequent flyer for me. Okay, let me just make sure it's not gonna dox me. Yeah, here it is. It's the Southern Bacon Double. Uh, it's got sauerkraut, lots of pickles, barbecue sauce, really good stuff. That's right up my alley. Yep. I would get that while it's on for a limited time, and I got the jalapeno cheddar biscuit if your tummy is filling it in the morning. <laughs> I like Whataburger. I mean, honestly, it's turns out it was rated one of the healthiest ham hamburgers to get for fast food. So, yeah. yeah. I think Wendy's is behind it, one or two spots behind it. I'm doing salvage claims since you're slacking off. Yeah, watch out. Pick up any of them uh, uh, no-go luck pieces. 
be careful. That bad boy has been camping out on those, uh, uh, those stuff. No, no, no. I'm doing the entry level ones. I'm going to do a couple of these to unlock the higher level ones. Yeah, but they still have cargo on them. Oh, do they? Especially if you get the whole A. That thing is loaded, then. Hmm. Okay, well, Basically, I'll... Anytime I'm, anytime I'm doing a salvage mission, I look for the cargo units. Okay, They're well... Yeah. And you can get poo-poo money. I can mean, use I, I got, uh, uh... I had one. Phase alone brought me in 1.2 mil. Really? Yes, sir. That was a C2 thing. I don't have the C2 with me, so... And honestly, I would, I'd have to get a buddy to join on me. Hmm? Yeah, this is a, a 100i or a, something like that. This is a Terrapin. This is a Terrapin. Yeah, I always go for Terrapin. Because, yeah, they're going to be, they're going to be loaded. Was the... Make, you're going to make bank on the target. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm in a I'm in a vulture, so I, I won't be able to offload a bunch of cargo in this thing. And what I normally do with a bulk station, I'll go out there in my cargo kit. Right now, I'm in the forest, so I can uh, offload all the cargo, go to the and come back to the vulture. You don't have like a time limit to do this? Oops. Yeah, the entry level salvage claim. I did not. Even the entry level. No time limit on the monster. If you're doing the job, you want to be very good. If you're doing the what now, I'm sorry? The risky salvage? Yeah. Those have a time limit. Okay. Four cops come looking for you. Okay, no, I'm but not doing risky. Are, but, but those are going to be under your personal tab. Okay. So as long as you stay out of the personal tab mm -hmm. and stay in the general tab, you're going to be getting the safe one. Let's save one. There's no time for another Like I said, I did the C2 all on my own by myself. And you know how long it takes to break the C2 when you're playing right around. Yeah, yeah. It's well, alone it takes longer. Yeah, I was alone. I was alone. I, I removed all the cargo, came back with my reclaimer, great fish. Yeah, it, it took me most of the day, and oh. yeah, I had no problem. Yeah, I don't have that kind of time, but what I could do but is... Again, I made almost, I made mm -hmm. almost $3 million on that big so. <laughs> Okay, well. I'm on the entry level one, so... Yeah. Um, when I'm by myself, typically it looks like uh, MSR. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you're having anymore. I really love to find one from Cat Miller. That would be great. We need to have an area of 20k. 50k is if you're looking at That's the other one. Okay. So, what I'll probably do is just scrape part of this and then go get a cargo ship. And if there's anything on it, I'll bring a cargo ship out and then scrape the rest of it. This is a terrapin, so. Oh, terrapin. I don't know. It might have something on it. Alright, well, I will get back to driving here and let you go straight away. Alrighty, buddy. You have a good trip, okay? Alrighty, you too. Take care. See ya. Bye bye. Yeah, good luck. Why don't you minimize it in Discord's a bit tricky to find the kill button. God, this audio sounds like shit. Alright. Let's see what's going on with this thing. If there's any cargo, we'll deal accordingly. Hello? Hello? You're still alive? You may have to bring it back up from the foreground, drag it. From, there you go. Drag it down from the top and then disconnect it. Yeah, I got it. Have fun, guys. It's See ya.
do you have any cargoes for me? I see no cargoes. Well, this will be easy then. We just scrape it and go. Yes, they did. The powers that be decided not to fuck up too bad tonight. Mrs. B is doing a little better today than she was yesterday. I was a little concerned about her this morning because she sounded a little hoarse, but I think it's just sinuses. She is in there crocheting. And Scarred, we're going to try a couple entry-level scrapey-scrapey missions, see if we can unlock the personal salvage. If we can, then we can team up and knock out some high value. From what Moon was just telling me, we're going to need a crew. Because it's a lot of cargo. He said one, one, 1. 1.2 million was the least he's made on one of these. Was it the salvage missions? Yeah. 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 When do they plan on fixing that? I do not know. Oh, god damn it. We hit it and she started bouncing. You know, a part of me could have swapped this corner drive out. It's slow as shit. I put a faster one on my whole C, but. I never did. But what's even on? I don't remember, actually. Help to move everything to everything else except just shields. It has... came up. Oh. Are you work tonight, Scarred? Come on, you need to stop moving around because this is making it a bit more challenging than it should be. I realize I bumped you, but I didn't... Not even halfway on my quantum jump. Yeah, the default quantum drive in the whole sea is slow. He left work, did some grocery shopping, ate dinner, chilled with kiddos, working on some YouTube stuff while I watch me. Thank you. Appreciate you watching me. I've gotten some good feedback about that joystick video, so that's good. I have trouble gauging my distance on this thing. Holy crap, the throughput is shit on this. What the shit? Transitioning to the ship. Thanks, Scarred. I tried to do a good job on it. Um, but I mean, you make content. I'm sure you can relate. It's not a matter of feeling like they're finished. It's a matter of feeling like you're out of time to work on it. You know?
You know what's funny is last night was an impromptu testing stream and we had like six or seven people in here. That was crazy. I was like, my worry was tonight they were going to see, everyone's going to see me go live and be like, he's not really streaming, he's fucking with shit again. Right? Well, there's a couple of things that I'd like to do. Um, one of them is get to the point where I could hire an editor to do, like, highlights for the stream. But in order to do that, I'd have to run the stream like a business. And I just don't feel right doing that. I like it better when the proceeds go to help their people. So. But yeah, I think that might be a good idea to start editing down and doing highlights, but it's a finite amount of time in the week. It's easier for me when the creator has anything you want me to work. Yeah, right? Yeah. Well, what I've been... Do well, what I was doing, I haven't been doing it lately. Uh, but what I was doing was any time that there was a, a really, really funny moment is I would clip it. And then the next day, I would review that clip and find out when it occurred in the stream. And then edit the original... And, and make like a short out of it. Because sh clips are like natural fodder for shorts, for YouTube shorts. How close are we? We're not actually that close at all. Nice. So I can get closer then. Yeah, clips are awesome. So yeah, Scar, let me know when you want to get on and group up. We'll get a bunch of peeps together and do some uh, illegal salvage slash illegal cargo goods selling. Moon said he got a shit ton of maze off of his. <laughs> the whole deadline thing? Yeah, I don't do deadlines for streaming. Yep, are we gonna make a box? Are you making a box? Nope, point nine nine. Come on, where's my box? There it is. First box. Second box. Holy shit, really scared? You're a machine. You gonna put them on your YouTube tonight, you think, or upload them tomorrow? Shout out, Scarred Citizen. There you go, folks. There's Scarred's YouTube channel. Hot Take Tuna Tuesday? Yeah. That's actually a really good idea, Scarred. You did one one day starting tomorrow and going to Saturday? Okay. Good. 
I'll try to look out for him. They made some changes to the Wi-Fi at the hospital. It was not as fast as it had been a couple of years ago. I'm sorry, what was that, Majestic, about the stock price? I got a price alert. Uh, commodity price alerts. Yeah. For helium at Everest Harbor. Cool. Even though I am literally at Microtech now. Well, the chart showed, I think it showed somebody buying a gas at Seraphim and selling that at Hurston. Buying something at Hurston and selling it at Arcor. Yeah. Is that what it is? I don't know. I should do some out there. Okay. I mean, I'm almost done with my jump. There's no way I'm going to sit for like 10 more minutes and jump. I'll see if I can sell it. They have a platinum bay there. Where? I think so, but I don't think there's any weapon shops. I mean, it's not a weapon shop, it's just a weapon shop. Yeah. Yeah. Platinum base, like ship components. Uh, Scar says hello, Majestic. Majestic says hello, Scar. You know, people complained that the scraping was slow, and I was like, no, you guys just aren't doing it right, but it does seem like it's been nerfed. Wait, what are you scraping with? The cinch on the um, vulture. I've always thought, like, I've always had the scraping. Yeah. Yeah, they may have made it slower than the. Uh... Oh, okay. So I'm not just insane then. All right. Well, I don't. I don't so much care about the RMC on this one. It's more about satisfying the mission so that I can progress to the next level. So is that how you do the ranks? And there is like an extra point system. Yes, it's my understanding that there's like a rep lock. Once I've heard, well, at least I think that's the case. You do two, two of the legit lower tier salvages, and it unlocks the other ones. I didn't know for sure. But... I I don't know because I'll be honest with you. I've only done a couple of the salvage missions. I usually just roll my own salvage. Go out into the halo with a couple of ships and just do our thing. I kind of wonder how much RMC is on a whole C. I wouldn't think much because. Okay, too legit. Uh, yes, Claire Bear, I think you forgot to say hello to Majestic. Claire Bear's fired. Claire Bear's fired. Nice. You fire, you fire, you fire. Definitely fired. Shut up. You fire. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely slower than it used to be. Okay, so my thing is, can you 
did not call the cargo center to drop the stuff off first. I believe Jack said you had to store the ship and then call the cargo center. That is so stupid. I agree. You should be able to roll in and go on the friends list and go, Hi, I want to offload this stuff and sell it. Because, I mean, it isn't like you're going in there to haggle on price. Yeah, I just want to store it. Or I can sell it. Well, you can store it, but yeah. No, I mean, like, store the car in there. Yeah, you dock with a docking port and store the ship, and then go... That's one of the points that Jack made on the Spectrum post, and I was like, you're absolutely right. Let's try the Abrade. Like I said, it's not about the amount of RMC, it's about clearing the ship so that I can progress to the next level. Yep, 0.14 for the speed. That is fucky. The abrade should be 0.44. Thanks for the support, Claire Burr. It's appreciated. Ooh, she talked to you, Claire Bear. Uh, Jack Axton made a post on Spectrum. Let me see if we can find it. About the whole sea. Let me see if I can find it. My Google foo is usually pretty good. All right, let's go to community. Spectrum. Uh, and let's search for Jack Axton Hole. Message in general, watching Jack and the whole C. Love this guy. Jack O'Neill. Message in general. Maybe this is the one. Nope. Nope. That's not what we're looking for. Well, fuck. I'll see. I'll see Prince. What do we got? Uh, in game and so on, nothing else works. Just bring a whole C. Scoo, whole C, whole C paints, hey C is a loner, whole C jack, yeah, I'm not. Damn it. You could just look at his, uh, his profile. I think we both thought of the same thing about the same time. <laughs> Eclipse pirating, mule owners, origin. Jack knows, do you, P2 feedback, cargo hauling, box update. In reply to, in reply to, no whole C. Can you just see what post that he made? No whole C for no PTU. Call C, buy and sell commodity locations. Miss Cole C, reply to P2 feedback. Let's see, this is it. Oh, uh, I don't think I'm going to shit it here. Yep, here it is, right here. Here you go. I can't sell it here. You're fired, Majestic. I'm going to drop this in the Discord under SC Cargo. So there it is. It's an SC Cargo, and I'll drop it in... At least, they, at least they sell components here. Nice. Okay. Me and a there we go. 
Oh my god, it just now finished scraping that the whole time I was dicking around on Spectrum. You know, I've never been one to cruise Spectrum while hole scraping before, but this may turn into a thing. They might just put the laser in one spot and let it go while I read through Spectrum. Here's the sketchy part. Storing this ship. The sketchy part is seeing if you can get off the damn docking arm after yes. you've stored it. Well, yeah, that's part of the sketchy part. Mm-hmm. I've only got one box this whole time. Holy shit. God, the Kama is such an ass one drive. Yeah, I think I wound up putting a TS2 on mine. But I don't know how well that's going to do with fuel. I mean, but then he's got a good chunk of fuel, too. Well, I know it, 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 it had, like, 10% of what it was supposed to have, and he made a correction, but I don't know if they actually fixed it all the way. Like, yeah, honestly, I think it's more. Well, it's an inter-system travel ship. I mean, yeah. That fucker should have huge-ass fuel tanks on it. I mean, that's like trying to make UPS deliveries in a, in a 1975 Cadillac, you know? <laughs> okay, Hold on a minute, let me stop and get gas. <laughs> it didn't put it sideways, right? There you go. I thought it was sideways, but the, the <laughs> name was off. Yeah. Yeah, Jack does good stuff. He's a great guy. I love watching his content. Him and Bog are my two favorite. For the big time guys, him and Bog are my favorites. Is Pagan going to be joining uh, Majestic Server and scraping his whole sea? <laughs> What's your opinion on the Cargo Bay Kiaser talking about in the INCs? Cargo Bay Kiosks, ISCs. Um, I'll have to re-watch it and tell you. If that's really what they're going to do, I think it's a great idea. Uh, Majestic was just stating that the admin terminal where we buy cargo now really should be in the cargo deck. Because that's where it belongs. I would like it if eventually we got to the point where um, we had personal cargo contracts and you could try you could try to negotiate more money so we'll just say like an npc you know freddy freddy four fingers he wants you to run 4000 scu of scrap over to some some place and he says hey i'll pay you i'll pay you you know 10000 credits to do that you don't have to buy the scrap i'll buy the scrap you just load it up and fly over there and I'll pay you 10,000 credits. And you're like, how about 15,000? He goes, how about 1,200? You know, 12. And you're like, okay. All those, yeah. Yeah, the ones where you're doing the uh, loading, like, with the one where they drive, like, the PTV into the cargo container. Oh, lost and found could be bad, yeah. Somebody, I, I, I read part of a post on Reddit the other day. Oh my god, this is tedious as fuck. Uh, a post on Reddit the other day where the guy loaded up a ship with all of his stuff and transferred it across the system. Uh, and lost all of his shit. Just lost all of it. And I'm like, well, that's on you for being a dumbass. Server hopping, 
Yeah, good luck, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I used to. I used to move most of my stuff over to, like, Crew L1. Back when they started making the home residence. You know, I'd spawn in at Area 18 and set my home residence to be, like, Crew L1 or something. Now I don't even bother so much with it. Let's do the other side and see. Maybe we can get this thing down low enough to... Uh... Low enough to qualify as being complete. I know it's out of range. I'm trying to flip to the other side, dippy do. Okay. What the fuck are they doing in chat in your server? I don't even have it open, buddy. I'm sorry. Don't. Don't. They're just spamming it. When I'm streaming, I've learned not to even have it open. Like, they are just spamming space bars. The whole thing. Really? I just blank messages and I feel like it's lagging the server. Jeez. server I was on was way fucking better. Yeah, this one seems to be struggling. But if I disconnect before I finish the mission, I'll take the hit on my rep. Which I think is dumb. It should... I could totally see if I abandon the mission. I, I can see that. Yeah, I mean, it's like sticking for things to the 30k here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or at least have the mission persist over it. So, like, oh, you logged out. If you log in with, the, say, like two hours, the mission's still there. Like in uh, Elite Dangerous, you take one of those little, like, cargo running missions or assassination missions or something, you log out, you log back in, the mission's still there. You got, like, seven days to do it. I know, right, Scarred? An unstable server? Surely we just. No such beast exists in this millennium. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what I was saying earlier about the audio issue. It's like, yeah, that's a database problem. I'm sure that's database. Damn you, Neptune. You corrupted the audio files, you son of a bitch. Let's see if we can get it. This is 29%. Okay. Can't get it off the arm. I appreciate them fixing the fucking cargo, but you should have fixed the arms too. That was my worry about the arms. You can't fix one thing and not fix the other because it just makes it zero sense. Unless they didn't know how to fix it, which I'm pretty sure they That's did. not thinking like a developer. What the hell, Majestic? We'll slow the ship and do this through it tomorrow. Hopefully they have it fixed tomorrow. Which yeah, we'll see. It's pretty bad when the live verse is acting more like the PTU. You know, I'm hoping that tech they have, they came up with uh, simulate a fuck ton of people on the server. Stress test it will work. I don't think it does. If they did, they would be complaining about not enough people testing the PTU. I think Salty, wasn't it Salty that said that, Scarred? That clearly that tech's not working or <laughs> the PTU wouldn't have been the shit show it was. It may have been, it may have been Salty, I don't remember. Out of here, we'll play Cyberpunk for a while. Did you get the new expansion for it? Oh my god, yes, it's good. Nice. It's got a very positive on Steam. 
a bunch of critics put it at like a 90-ish area. But it's good. Nice. Ooh, it auto-ejected. Now that's cool. I like that. What do you mean by auto-ejected? When I move the other uh, crate out of the way, it auto-ejected. So you don't have to hit the button anymore? I didn't have to hit it then. I just moved the bottom box and I turned around. I was about to hit the eject button and it moved itself. Only twice? Yeah, they should have done that a lot more than twice. Oh, I totally agree, Scarred. That may not have been his intent, but it sure... But I, I definitely received it like he was trying to cast the blame at whomever the database vendor is. That's the way it came off to me. And I wonder if maybe getting the whole ship down into the 20s will count as completion. I'm trying to be less grumpy and more neutral, but it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe in a month we'll have some really good news come out of Citizen Con. Maybe. Maybe Info Runners is accurate. And it's going to be a big announcement about Squadron 42. Uh, Execute made a couple statements. I'm not 100% sure on the verbiage he used, but my understanding from his statements was that he believed that SQ-42 was really close and that they were going to make an announcement about it. I mean, we know they're going to talk about Squadron 42. They pretty much have to. It's like a thing you do with Citizen Con now is talk about Squadron 42, but... Um... Um... But... My... The takeaway I got from his comments was that he thought it was really close. And I hope that it is. Not so much that I'm interested in Squadron 42, but because of what it means to the PU. When they're done with Squadron 42, they can take those people and put them on the PU. Which is where I want them to be. So, I will play Squadron 42. I mean, I'm not tickled pink about it, but... It's not one of those things like, Ooh, SQ-42! You know, it's more like, oh, More people on PU. And the slow walk to Pyro. Yeah, it's been a very, very, very slow walk to Pyro. It's a damn long-ass road. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I remember getting very, very excited because I backed a project right after Citizen Con of the year that I backed. 2019 Citizen Con had just ended. Um, and I remember watching the videos and talking about that, and then I watched the the um, the video where the lady who did the design work on the MSR flew the Carrick through the jump gate. Remember that? They grab the Carrick and they fly it and she navigates the jump gate. It did show up like a data heist in that, that video too. Remember the Microtech data heist, yeah. The cold weather and people being impressed that you were shivering. Because when I, when I first started playing, you didn't have effects like that. I mean, when you landed at a moon like um, uh, Lyria or Walla, you were like, oh, it says it's cold. I don't tell any difference, but it says it's cold. The member berries, remember that? Absolutely, member berries. 
Um, all right, we got that piece down to 23%. Maybe that's enough. I heard a badonk. Hey, Ron, what's up, buddy? How's grandbaby doing? Very good. Nice. Bad. Bad. Babies are supposed to be, buddy. Well, no, he is chunky, 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 boy. Oh, like a little heavy? Well, you know, with the G-tube, you know, it's, you know, mm -hmm. with the baby, you're probably not going to get every drop that they're no. supposed to get, you know? No, they're going to barf some of that up. And sometimes they don't want to drink. They don't want to drink all their bottle, blah, blah, blah. Well, with the G-tube, he gets it all. Mm hmm And he is chunky. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Kind of makes you wonder how much of that recommended feeding, for lack of a better word, dosage or portions that they recommend that they estimate is going to be lost and spit up. You know, refusal to eat and shit like that. I was kind of wondering that too. You know, if that's you know they've got their losses figured into that. Mm-hmm. And with this, since he ain't getting any losses, yeah. Yeah, the only losses on the other end. I mean, he is. Uh, he getting chunky. Did you get pictures? Yeah, took some. I didn't. Nice. Can you have her send me a couple later at her leisure on Facebook or something? Mrs. B and I love to see uh, pictures of the grandbaby. You said she'd do it. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Sharon. Why is it shouting me out for gifting subs? What the hell, bot? Are you insane? Oh, the bot has lost its shit. <laughs> oh, and I figured out what... The, whoa! I figured out what the issue was with the uh, lack of resolution options last night. I saw where you posted something. Too high of a bit rate. I, uh, I tried testing it with the uh, bots account, Paganus Rex. Mm -hmm. And the only option Paganus Rex had was source, 1080p. And I was like, well, that's interesting, because that's the very same settings I'm using in the other one. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's something corrupted with the profile. So I took the Paganus Rex profile, signed out of Paganus Rex, signed in as Pagan Linux Geek, and tried doing an exact same test, and it failed. It was only giving one option, 720p. And I'm like, well, this doesn't make any sense. So I went into Twitch's system and I started opening up a chat ticket. Apparently they've got a, a beta test where you can live chat with support. So I sat there in live support for like half an hour. And I'm not exaggerating, half an hour waiting for them to answer it. And while I was waiting on them, I was playing around with it. And I'm like, let me just try something. So I took the bitrate down to 6,000 and streamed again, and it worked just fine. And I was like, okay. So then I bumped it back up to 8,500, and it failed. So then I dropped it down to 8,000, and it worked. Back up to 8,300, and it failed-ish. So I'm like, the magic number seems to be 8,000. So apparently... It's overrunning, or it's at the top end, or past the end cap of the transcoding. When you're an affiliate on Twitch, uh, you get transcoding, meaning that if you're broadcasting in 1080p, your viewers can um, click a button and pick a lower resolution. So, like, say, like when I'm watching Scarred, a lot of times I'm watching Scarred from my phone. So I go in YouTube, I hit the little gear, and I go, hey, show me the 480 version. I'm on my phone. I can't run the full 1080p right now. So when you're an affiliate, usually you have that transcode option. 
But I think what was happening is the bit rate was too much and it was either overloading or faulting on that transcoding. So I'm like, well, I'm glad I found an A fix for it. But YouTube didn't give a shit. YouTube's like, bring it on. Got it at 1080p 60 right now. Yep. Yep. I was doing some tests today. It seems like it's working just fine. Crap, I've gotten two boxes out of this, maybe three. Come on, just give me enough where I can end the contract without loot taking the hit. yellow so there may be some there yep there's more right there there we go it's space bob laser stuff laser at you Oh, yeah, on the uh, wallet. That looks great, doesn't it? Yeah. I've been debating. My 3D printer has a laser etching head. Mm-hmm. You just uh, undo the filament tube from, you know, the 3D printing head, unplug it, mm -hmm. snap that head off, snap the new one on, plug the power into it, and bam, it's a laser etcher. Nice. I've just wondered how good it would do, you know. Mm, try it out. That's a... You gotta spend money, though. Oh, I thought you had it already. I thought you yeah. had the attachment. Okay. It's an accessory you can buy, and, uh... I just wonder if it's got enough power to actually do anything I want it to do, you know? Oh, you could always mod that shit, buddy on your safety glasses and replace that laser with a bigger one. There's a YouTube channel. It's been on for years. And it's a dad and his sons. Uh, Scarred says, hey, Ron. Oops, Scarred. Um, they're called Tech Ingredients. Been watching their content for years, and... Today I was listening to him talk about satellite mounted laser weapons. Okay. Yeah, yes, guard. I am a cousin it. What's going on? Ron's a former cousin it. I'm sure between the two of us we can figure out some kind of semblance of a correct answer for you. Oh, buddy. I love debacles. Not me. I don't do any debacles. Sorry. You don't, you don't do debacles? <laughs> uh. I'll be honest. I've got to the point where when I'm talking to somebody and they're like, you used to own a computer store, right? I'm like, yeah, but that's been so long ago, I don't know shit about them no more. 
You don't own the information on your phone or other electronic devices. Ooh. Well. A lot of depends there. Yeah. Well, technically, you own the copyrights for the images that you take. But I would have to reread the EULA because I think we grant permission. Well, um, I know so that's good. Go on the Samsung phones, um, if you back it up to their online thing, if, if you read that, um, you agree that they have. It can use anything, any picture you back up from your phone to the Samsung, you know, their online backup thing, you grant them permission to use it in any form they deem necessary. Yes, the company, yeah, that's a different animal. Um, I remember when I worked at the International Fruit Company that we read a statement and we were required to answer certain questions in a certain way because uh, the federal government had petitioned this company to release information that they had stored on their iPhone. What model 3D printer did you get? To me? Yeah. Uh, the Ender 3 version 2. They have a laser kit for yours, too. Yeah, I don't know if it comes from reality or if it's a third party but I remember seeing one somewhere why can I not scrape that I do know well I don't know but I read somewhere that as far as search and seizures and whatnot um, they can make you unlock your phone with your fingerprint or an eye or a photo but they can't make you give them your password. But yeah, the government tried getting this company to give the information. Um, I know that when you post stuff to various social media outlets, you're giving them permission to use that image in any way that they want. Crap, did I only get like three SCU of material out of this? I know they give information about advertising. If you use Snapchat, now they have to you can use your image how they want. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta watch that shit. Contract complete. Yes, we are the fuck out of here, motherfuckers. Let us clear our destination, sir. Let's offload this material and get rid of it. I don't want it any longer. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to look for other wrecks in the area first. And then we'll do it. Because I got part of an SCU here. Let's see if we can find something tasty and delicious. There's a space station somewhere. Oh, what is this? What have we here? The laser that'll go on mine, you know, without modding or anything, yeah, is only 350 milliwatts. Um, Scar, the individual you're having that debacle with can always look up and read the EULA. Yeah, that's true. Some phone companies will not even provide the information to you. 
But they were the police. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you see that? I think it was it Liberty Gun Safes. No, what's going on? They gave, uh, I think it was ATF, I could be wrong, but they gave some government agency the master password for all of their gun safes. What? That's what the hubbub was about. Oh, shit. Yeah, I saw something on YouTube, and it was, um... They said something about Liberty Safes is in the shit now, and I was like, well, I don't understand what's going on with Liberty Safes. Wow, really? Yeah. Yes, Jesus Liberty Christ. Safe. I gave the FBI. Jeez. Well, if they're using an electronic lock, I know that you can replace those because I had to replace one at work. Um, we had an issue with the safe lock at work and I had to replace that. So we ordered a replacement unit and I had to set the combination. So I know, I know you can do that at least. Alright, Pagan, what are you doing here, buddy? Let's get... Let's get closer to Green, Green Glade and see if we can find some salvage there to finish out this container. Well, what I garnered from it is gun safes really don't do much unless you're spending lots of money. Yeah. Well, I think the idea is just to slow them down enough to the uh, thieves can be dealt with. Yeah, but... I'll let you infer what you want from dealt with. that safe... do safe cracking. <laughs> yeah, I think the idea is just to slow them down, to be truthful with you. The lockpicking lawyer would probably make short work of any of those. He's fun to watch. And, and you know, lots of people think it's also fire safe. No, it's... You know, no, it's just a cash you know, drawer, basically. My stepdad bought one, and he paid like thirty-five hundred bucks for it. So not a cheap one, but not you know a super super expensive, but thirty-five hundred dollars. Yeah. And uh, and a the typical heat. I forget the exact temperature, but the typical heat for my house fire, it would last for one hour. Well, that's all those uh document saves are rated for anyway if you notice if you read the fine print on them yeah but one hour ain't gonna I mean, one hour ain't shit you'll be lucky to have police to, I mean the, the fire department out there in your building wet in one hour what the well, fuck I mean, is this I'm not next hello this will work that, just so fine I don't know but it seems to me if it's your gun safe yeah you know it's they guarantee your stuff won't burn up in an hour I think your ammo would start going off way before. <laughs> yep. <laughs> My guns yes, sir. Through. They just got bullet holes all in them, you know? I mean... Yeah, half the neighborhood's wondering what the fuck is going on, but the gun's all right. Your dad's a former LEO. He said that the big Liberty saves are nearly meaningless. He said in five minutes they can remove it and get in their vehicle. They'll crack it off site. You know, Oof. I think used to be it was good because your average person would see it and be like "Ooh, safe can't do nothing with that but now you know do a five minute google search on your phone and how to get in in two minutes you know so i think they're less of a preventative measure as they used to be All right, let's finish this crate out. There we go. That's what I needed. Now I can sell the scrap and go. 
Actually, how much room do I have? How much room do you have, Pagan? Can I do another one of these without any trouble? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got we got we got room for days. Yeah, I watched it go on YouTube the other day where a lot of those digital ones he could bypass with the big ass magnet. <laughs> If you took a big enough magnet. Oh, you could activate, you know, yeah. Put yeah. the put it in the right spot and just slide it over, and it would slide the lever over. Gotcha. You know, it's you know, if they have a spring or something on them, you know, all you got to do is have a magnet that's more powerful than the spring, and you could just bloop. I mean, and he mm -hmm. could break into them in you know five seconds, just clunk, jink. Mm. <laughs> Mm. You said, the only important thing about using a magnet is to put it in a sock so that you have a way of pulling the magnet off afterwards. <laughs> oh, yeah, especially those neodymiums. Or a table. Yeah, um, there's some really cool gun... Well, I don't want to use the word safe. But there was a shelf that, lo that looked like... Um, what do they call the top part of a fireplace? A mantle. There was a shelf that was like a mantle on a fireplace... And you went over to the right spot, and you hit it, and it dropped down, and there were the guns right there. I was like, ooh, there you go. For all of these, 5K. 20K, Drake Cutlass, Mercury. We got another 100i here. I agonized with when I had kids, you know. It's like, I need a way to have them locked up, but I need to have a way to where, in the dark adrenaline pumping I can get them out you know yeah and that's kind of hard mm hmm yes indeed well we're fortunate here and that we don't have any young kids around so I don't have to worry about that um but anytime that the grands come over it's like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Need to take care of some stuff. Oh, and I thought of something the other day. My land. Oh, that's a good that idea. Own, mm -hmm. Where my oldest daughter is living now. Mm -hmm. They're going to build a school across the street. Oh, shit. And, you know, we have a creek and woods, and this is where we go shoot most of the time. Oh, fuck. You can't have a firearm within so many feet of school property. That's a federal law. Mm hmm So, yeah. I told my daughter, I said, you know, they, they build that school. You may not be able to have a gun in your house. <laughs> well, I don't know whether they count the doors, the building of the school, or whether the edge of the property, nope. though. It's from the edge of the property. Oh, dude, that is fucked up. Um, because I and I know that because this past week there was a news story of where a guy, mm -hmm. uh, somebody called the police on him. Uh, he had a single shot shotgun. Mm -hmm. And he was going from the car to the house or the house to the car with it. And somebody saw it and called the police because he lived across the street from school. They arrested him. Oh, that's that's just fucked up. You can still own them, just keep them in your house. Yeah, but I mean, if you're gonna go to the range, though, I mean, what the fuck are you supposed to do then? I, I don't think, dude. That's like the third time the quantum noise has kicked in. <laughs> from what I was understanding from that you story, they, you know. They passed uh, a yeah. law a while back ago within so many feet of a school, you cannot have one, period. Guys, we got some time here on this quantum travel, and I want I want to get something more tea. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to run an advert real quick to kill the pre-roll for anybody else that joins the stream later.
So, welcome if you got them. Enjoy a two minute potty break. I will be right back. Here it is, the uh, Gun-Free School Zone Act of 1990. Um, if it's within 1,000 foot of school property, um, the only way you can have ammunition or a gun is in a locked container. See, my whole thing is, is, you know, we used to go outside and shoot up there. Well, it can't be in a locked container while you're shooting it, so. Okay, looks like I was a little late. I was a little late. Oh. My wife said they're, they're in your Facebook. Nice. Let's take a look. We still got 11 million clicks. I want to see the baby. Oh, he's adorable. Oh, love that face. <laughs> Is he looking at grandma or grandpa? I don't know which picture you're talking about. So I don't know. Uh, I don't want to share it on the stream. <laughs> but, uh, it looks like your daughter's holding him and he's... He's sitting in her lap and looking over at the camera. I don't know. Oh, he's adorable. You know, she only took probably 1,411 pictures. Of course, you have to. Yeah, I see what you mean. Those some chunky legs. Do you see his legs? Oh, my God. He's a little plumper. I mean, the rest of him is just like, oh, he's a fat baby. But then you see his legs and it's like, mm -hmm. holy cow. <laughs> I was mentioned in a post. I'm crying. <laughs> Tell Sharon I'll definitely down to help her escape. Definitely down to help her escape. As long as it's in a range break, it should be fine. Looked up California's law about living near a school and owning pew pews. Okay. I wonder what the fl the Florida yeah, laws I don't are. Care about California? California's laws are anyhow, but holy cow! It still keeps kicking in the quantum zone. Yeah, you should be fine, I would think. 
That's the problem. That's where we shoot. It's kind of hard to shoot. <laughs> yeah. With it in a bag or. Yeah, that bag's not going to last too yeah. long. <laughs> that bag's going to have some problems pretty quick. Keep making runs to the dollar store so you can buy some of those cheap ass bags. Yeah, that's one thing I have a problem with is, you know, when you own property somewhere and then they do something near it later and it affects you, you know, um, less than a half of a mile from that property we own up there used to be a dairy. You know, they had thousands of dairy cows and then they built a subdivision on the other side of it mm -hmm. and within a year or two all those people complained about the smell in the summertime and they wound up closing the dairy down and i think that's bull you know that's yeah, been, that dairy's been there since the 40s mm -hmm. you know and these people chose to buy a house beside a dairy you know i mean if you decide to live beside a dairy well that's on you yeah well what i found when i first looked was a federal law 18 us 922 g2a blah blah <laughs> yeah br549 yeah the Gun Free School Zone Act of 1990. And I mean, a thousand foot from the property, you know, that's, you know, you live right across the street and that's going to go a good little ways across my property, you know? Mm hmm. Well, hell, a thousand feet. I mean, that's like three or four of our, of the lots in my neighborhood together. Uh, we have, hell, more than that, actually. We have, I think, no, three or four acres. So, but still. Yeah, it probably is. It's dark. Yes, I know it's an Adiago Holdings controlled area. Making me want to listen to classical music while I scrape. This is not cool, man. Not cool. There's a song called Adiago for Strings. I absolutely fucking love. Yeah. Why are you not playing? Oh, it is playing. Okay. There we go. I'm going to make sure you guys aren't hearing this. Nope. You're not. They've got the, the really legal reading of the law, but it's just so freaking complicated to read it. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. How's your Starfield adventure going, Ron? Oh, I'm I'm having a blast. I'm taking yeah, my sweet ass know. time with it. I, I was too, but it had kind of got where it was slowed down and it's, you know, just your same old grind of quest mm -hmm. and all. And mm -hmm. then, like I said, the other night, something huge happened and it's like oh, oh okay they did that you know mm -hmm. and it, you know it, it really got me interested in the game again uh, i played for like 11 hours that night <laughs> holy shit i came in here to play for like an hour <laughs> uh the school zone is to buy is defined as 1,000 foot from the property. But here's the technical 
law, it shall be unlawful for any individually knowingly to possess a firearm that has moved in or that otherwise affects interstate or foreign commerce at a place that the individual knows or has reasonable cause to believe is a school zone. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going to have the requirements pretty much met for this guard. We can do some uh, salvage and cargo running. From what Moon said, it's a lot of cargo. Probably gonna want to take a like a C2 and a uh, couple of vultures. Did you watch Jack's video of him doing the salvage, but only not salvaging the ship, but just taking the drugs? No, no. I haven't watched it yet. Moon was telling me about it last night. Yeah, Sliver, uh, um, Scar was telling me about it a couple of days, a couple of days ago. Well, he said Jack was making millions of credits. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, millions? And he said, yeah. And I was like, I didn't think you could sell that much drugs. Uh, from what I understand, you got to be patient. Millions of credits. That, that'd have to be a good many drugs, you know. Yeah. Well, Moon said that he did a he did a C two, and it was full. But I mean, unless something's drastically changed, it's the selling part, you know. Ooh, I did a twenty minute mission, and then I spent three days selling drugs. Yeah. Maybe Five to ten million in one run. Fuck me. I have sit at a station before with a carrot full of drugs waiting every 10, 15 minutes sale. Wait 10, 15 minutes sale. <laughs> yeah, I remember that actually. <laughs> mm. Well, one night we we did the uh, the mission where you go to the drug lab and you're supposed to destroy the drugs. Instead of destroying the drugs, we loaded some of them out in a ship. I don't remember if it was a Cutty red or cutty black or something, but we loaded them in into a ship. Yeah. Well, see, if we could do one or two of those scars, you'd be able to buy, um, you'd be able to buy a, a vulture in game. Hell, Ron could buy a vulture in game, too. I'm going to turn this down. It's a little loud. There we go. I'm hoping by the time I finish Starfield and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Baldur's Gate 3, maybe by then I'll be 
excited to come back to Star Citizen. You know, it just seemed like before there was constantly new things to do. You know, every you have a good night, Scar. There was something new to do. Mm -hmm. Have a good one, Scar. You know, but here mm -hmm. lately, it just, you know, there hasn't been a lot of new stuff to do. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, I could live with all the bugs to get to do the new things, but if mm -hmm. there ain't anything new to do, Well, there's there's a definitely a content drought, um, and then there's the struggles to do the stuff that you used to do, and there is I mean there's there's some new things to do. I mean it's tight. different quantities of things to do. I guess I should say, but um, the problem is is that. I've tried repeatedly and not had any any uh, success with it. And like tonight, Majestic, he bought cargo successfully and undocked with the cargo, got it loaded, and, and went off to sell. But he got somewhere to sell, and they they weren't buying it. And then he was having trouble. He wasn't able to get un, unstuck from that station that wouldn't buy the cargo. So it's like, okay... Well, I mean, it's anytime something's frustrating, it has to be worth it for you to live with the frustration. Mm -hmm. You know, and so many times in the past, it's been worth it. You know, I mean, man, you know. Yeah. I can remember when we would put up with 30 Ks every five, six minutes. Mm hmm. Because we had new and exciting things to do, you know? Yeah. But now. It's just like, I'm not so excited to do anything in the game that I'm willing to put up with uh, frustration. Yeah. And there's, and there's some, there's, there, there's some pretty game breaking bugs right now. Hey, Sliver. Um, like, like, hey, Sliver, what, how are you, buddy? I'm okay. Um, I was just trying to get missiles and stuff equipped on my harb last night and struggling to do that. Well, and that's something that should be taken for granted. Out. Yeah. That's why I sold my the miss mm -hmm. uh, miss miss. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why I sold it. I didn't sell it. I traded it for another ship. But simply yeah. because I went for a long time there. You know, you, every time you used all the missiles in it, you couldn't restock them. You'd have to claim it and wait a half hour. Mm hmm And I just got tired of it. A little way to restock a ship. Well, I mean, you know, it kind of was taking the fun out of things, you know? Mm-hmm. Here you Nice. All right, cool. That's our two mandatory shitty salvage missions covered. And now we can go offload this cargo. And we are ready to do some illegal salvage. Let's go sell this at Everest. Get rid of this. Not Everest, I'm sorry, Lorville. Lorville. Oop, we're in mining mode. Space mining. Yeah, Moon was having a time of it. Was he? Yeah, he was pulling salvage missions. Mm-hmm. It was all well and good until he uh, like got to Brios and somebody put a cap in his house. Oh, shit. Um, got to Brios and the um, Pirate County NPC rammed him to the 
look really? at that. Really? <laughs> yeah. And then he couldn't respawn. Oh no. <laughs> Poor guy. He was. He uh, took one mission and it. Um, I think at 30k just after he'd taken the mission. Oh no. Or crashed the desktop or something, and so he lost that mission. <laughs> oh, Aww. he was having a time of it. There it is again. The quantum sound kicking off and back on, off and back on. Alright, so that should unlock the other missions. Where we can do the personal salvage missions. Uh, 400i, hammerhead cleanup, cutty black cleanup. I don't know how well the 400i would be. A hammerhead can have cargo on it too. These are pay, 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 pay. This is accept offer. All right, so what's our rep here? Honey Hunter, Civilian Defense, Crusader, MT Protection. So what's the rep for the salvage then? Quantum fuel is at twenty five percent. Huh. Here kitty kitty kitty. And kitty and other kitty. Right? That's a lot of kitties. Um Yeah, that's that card. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't see the rep for um the salvage mission. So apparently it's not reported by Delphi. There's an Andromeda. But I, I would need to get a cargo ship, too, just to make sure that we've got a place to carry it. To have the cargo, take the cargo. Hmm. We're going to have to have a party for this one. It's going to be the best way to do it. We need somebody flying a cargo ship. We need at least one vulture. Oh crap. Uh let's move these boxes. Forgot about the boxes in the in the hold. No down, Dippy Doo. Thank you. Alright, and let's see if they move themselves this time. Okay, it's not ejecting itself this time. It did last time. Alright, well at least those are done and out of the way. So that should unlock what we need. Might take one more just to make sure, but I saw a bunch of risky salvage missions unlocked, so probably good. There we go. 
Come on. Engage. Thank you. Let's see what we got. Got Avenger. Yeah, that's going to be... Gar, Connie. Where's this Connie? Mikkel 1. I was say, if it's close enough, I could just fly the vulture, leave it, and then fly into the cargo ship over to it. But that's Mick L1, Mick L1, Mick L1. These are all Mick L1. Oh, that's her L3. I don't think we're going to have any. I think the Andromeda might have something in it. So how are you supposed to get cargo out of an Argo Raft? <laughs> Good question. You know what I mean? I mean, they're in the boxes, and apparently the boxes do not detach. So you can shoot the boxes all you want. They're part of the ship. That's Yila. I'm sorry. That MSR could be ripe too. Yeah, an MSR could be a good gig. Yeah, I think we'd be better suited for those to get a crew. Yeah, we'll do that with a crew. That'll be a crew gig. I just saw your message, Ron. That's fucked up. Bootsy, Maggie, Milky, Sneak, Sucky, treat time, babies. Come on. Let's do treat I time. I to, to my advantage, though. Oh, did you? Yeah. You want to give me the details after the stream? Yeah, sure. I'll just say I showed my ass in court. Oh, did you? Yep. I got tired of it. I don't I don't blame you at all. Another one? Okay. Okay, we'll do three each. Your your sister needs two though. Because you guys have had three. Sneakers, you gotta get faster, baby. Quantum drive is now off. There we go. Sneak scatter bonus stream. I sit here the other night and got the treats out. We've got one of those balls that you can twist and fill it full of treats and then twist it to the really small hole and they got a roll it around a lot mm -hmm. for the tree to fall out they got to work for it yeah and i filled it up and i put it in the floor and then we got another one that you gotta these little pieces that mm -hmm. you gotta pull out 
and you put the treats in there and then you mm -hmm. put the lids on them and they have to work to get them out now and i did all that and then i sit down and all the cats went crazy and all such for my cat blair and she just come over here and sit up she climbed up in my lap, put her paws mm -hmm. on my chin, and just stared at me. And I was like, <laughs> Blair knows I the deal. Work for mine, Daddy? No, of course not. I stood over here and fed her treats. <laughs> of course she did. She's Daddy's baby. <laughs> oh, goodness. Quantum drive is now on. Then we got Ruby, those big bones you know when you get like a pack of six for like twelve dollars and she devours one in like five seconds oh and it's like that wasn't worth the money <laughs> yeah yeah we used to get bear these uh these uh chew toys mm -hmm. pay was really good we would get pay one of those rawhide bones and he would gnaw on that for a long time, hours. He just gnaw on it, and, and he'd come back to it, gnaw on it some more, and come back to it. So we we got we got started getting them for Bear when Bear Bear lived with us, and uh, he would go through those fast. Like in ten minutes, it's gone. There's, there was no sign that he'd ever even had it. Yeah. Well, we've had big dogs before. We had a Rottweiler before. Mm-hmm. Um, best dog I've ever had. Really? Um, oh, he Reloading. was my dog. He would fetch a ball. He was trained. Mm -hmm. uh, but he was trained in German. And uh, he showed up at the house oh. one day. I went to go to work and I opened the door and there was a 145 pound Rottweiler sitting on my front porch. And I'm like, ooh. And I finally figured out he wouldn't aggressive so i left and went to work when i come back home he was laying there asleep on the porch and well no we wound up having him for many many more years but i took Aww. him to the vet and the woman was talking and she she said something in german and he said and she said oh he's trained in german and she started speaking german and he would do whatever she said and I'm like, well, how'd you know that? And she said, well, he's a German Rottweiler. So, uh, apparently a, a real German Rottweiler has long hair on the back of their back legs. So, mm -hmm. But anyhow, it's the only dog I've had that listened. I mean, I've mm -hmm. had dogs that, you know, would do what you said for a treat. But I mean, he would, you could be out in the backyard and you could tell him to see it and you could go do something and forget about him and come back an hour later and he'd still be sitting in that spot. He was a great dog. And then Sharon got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And when Sharon got pregnant, he wasn't my dog anymore. He was Sharon's dog. He, he would have sit there and watched me die in a fire. He, he wouldn't, mm -hmm. he didn't pay me. I could call him till I was blue in the face and he'd just stare at me. He's but, protecting the baby. Oh man, let me tell you what. We had pizza delivered one time and that guy says, I won't come back. <laughs> uh, and then Holly was born and then he forgot all about sharing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. He would sleep. Uh, we had him in the backyard. Mm hmm. And uh, he would sleep up under the window of her nursery. Aww. And if she woke up crying, oh my, he would go, he'd go crazy, boy. Uh, and then as they got bigger, man, uh, the guy come out to read our meter one day. And we have a six-foot fence in the backyard. And uh, I was out there, and uh, I come around the side of the house, and the guy was reading a meter. And he sat there, and he said, you couldn't pay me no amount of money in the world come in that gate <laughs> <laughs> and I was like yeah he's a big boy and he says it ain't that he said he, watch he said when I walk across over here he doesn't bark he doesn't growl but he moves to stay in between me and that little girl talking about Holly yeah and you can watch he would just stay in between them no matter how mm -hmm. they kind of moved he would stay in between them yeah and man he was a good dog 
Oh. And then we had an English bulldog, which is supposed to have the most jaw strength of any dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and so you know, we got used to feeding treats that you know were hard to tear up, but Ruby, mm -hmm. Ruby. We used to give the bulldog pig ears. Yeah. And they would last him an hour or so. They last Ruby five minutes at most. Mm. Um, Sharon bought her a water buffalo horn. Hmm. And it's supposed to be indestructible. Dogs mm -hmm. chaw, chew on it for years. Yeah, uh, we don't have it anymore. <laughs> And she just, phew, mm. she destroys stuff. I mean, not anything she's not supposed to, but yeah. Any time a chew toy, she just obliterates it. Jeez. All right. You guys uh, seen the movie The Boondock Saints? I don't recall. Sounds familiar, but I can't... Yeah. William William Defoe plays an FBI agent in it. It's got the guy from The Walking Dead. He plays one of the brothers. It's two Irish brothers. They're the main characters. I don't want to give too much of it away. Anyways, Boondock Saints. Um, it's a really good movie. I mean, I would I would say it's the top 100 films ever made. Um, it would definitely be in that list for me. If I had to pick 100 movies that would be you know preserved forever, that would be on that list. Mm-hmm. As would the Godfather movies, the Star Wars movies. Um, but anyway, she had never seen it. You know, it, it was available through one of the things we were looking at. And I'm like, oh, the Boondock Saints, good movie. And um, she didn't, she didn't respond. And I'm like, have you, do you, do you remember the Boondock Saints? She's like, I've never seen the Boondock Saints. Like, oh, we watching this shit. So we watched that yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's a good movie. Visit William Defoe performs exceptionally well in that, I think. 1999. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely worth a watch. I don't remember. You know, I always swore when I got old, I wouldn't be one of them old people that talked about how much better thing, how much better thing <laughs> they were young, you know. But now here I am doing it, and I mm -hmm. catch myself, and I remember that I said I wasn't going to do that. But it's yeah. true, man. I mean, I remember if mm -hmm. a movie come out at a movie theater, it may not be your kind of movie, maybe, but it was going to be a good movie, you know. Yeah. yeah. Movies aren't that way anymore, you know? It can be mm -hmm. a top-grade movie with big actors in it, and you watch it, and it's mm -hmm. okay, but it's not... Yeah. You know? I mean... I yeah. don't know, it's just... Used to be you watched a movie, and you were anxious to tell people, Oh, we watched such and such last yeah. night, man, that was awesome. Now it's like, yeah, we watched such and such last night. People are like, well, how was it? Yeah, it's all right. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Nothing to write home about. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's some truth to that. Um, I was talking with one of my coworkers, and he's younger. I mean, he's less than 30. He's like in his, I would say, in his mid-20s. And I was talking about movies, you know, and having a similar calm conversation with him. And I'm like, I says, I'm sorry. I says, I just don't get it. Most of the newer movies that I see bore me. And he's like, yeah, 
especially the superhero movies. I'm like, yeah, exactly. I says it's like, oh, you take Batman out and you put Superman in. You know, you take Bane out or you take the Joker out and you put this person in and oh, it's the same movie. You know, they're just they're just taking the main character and replacing it with this main character and I mean right down to like, oh, it's been two minutes, we need a funny joke. You know, it's like, come on. We watched something one day last week, I can't even remember what it was, but I fell asleep in it apparently. Mm -hmm. And then I woke up, you know, and I finished watching it. And uh, mm -hmm. we were talking about it afterwards, you know, and, and my daughter said, well, how would you know you slept through half of it? And I was like, no, I just missed a few minutes. And she's like, no, you missed over an hour of it. And I was like, didn't seem like I missed any of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> seemed like I just yeah. nodded off for a minute or two, you know, and she's like, no, you was asleep for over an hour. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, apparently that doesn't matter. <laughs> It was like I hadn't oh. missed anything. I just had an ominous thought. Uh oh. Considering how formulated these things are, how much of it's written by AI? They don't even need AI to rent it. I mean, they've got a script. They can just pull and plug. I think an AI would do a better job of writing a fucking movie. One. Well, it's almost like people have just come out of new ideas, so they just, you know, take something old and change it around a little bit. You know, or I don't know. So many movies today, you watch the first five minutes of it, it's like, I know what's going to happen. <laughs> Have you seen mm -hmm. it? No, but I know what's going to happen. You know, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's predictable. You know? hmm. Yeah, it's definitely predictable. I mean, that was, that was one thing I loved. Oh, uh, what are you leaning on, my good sir? With your fancy tan pants. You, you had absolutely no idea what was going to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, he, he, start, he started off one book and he's, you know, talking up this character. Mm -hmm. Which gets hit by a truck and killed. Mm -hmm. And it's like, crap. <laughs> if he's mm -hmm. going to do that... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What's well, you know, pretty much. And which one was this? Players. <laughs> um, that was the one that introduces John Clark. Um, trying to remember the name of it now. But yeah, it's um, he's he's got absolutely no qualms about getting there and just you know, okay, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> Well, see, that's the thing. Everything's got to be so predictable, but unpredictability is what I think people want. I, I think that's why yeah. Game of Thrones did so well. Yep. Yeah, Agreed. I didn't know you what know. happened next. Yep. Well, you got to love a character, you know, and it's mm -hmm. like, oh, this is our hero. He's going to be here for all season and, you know, be the one that saves the day. And the next episode, yeah. he friggin' dies, you know, and it's like, yep. yeah. What? I mean, I didn't like that it was so soap opery. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, yeah. I still watched it because it just, you know, you didn't know what was going to happen next. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Starfield, what happened the other night? It was like, I can't believe that shit just happened. And that <laughs> just totally got me back interested in the game, you know, because, it, yeah, it just threw me for a loop. Yep. When you get to that point... Oh, yeah, we'll have a conversation about it. You know what I'm talking about, and then we can talk about it, because it just surprised yeah. me. I mean, back in the day, I get it, but nowadays, mm -hmm. I watched a YouTube video on EverQuest yesterday. Oh, yeah? Y'all remember that? I remember hearing about it. I never played it, but yeah. And the guy went back, and he played it again, and he said... What's different between EverQuest, you know, and games like it now? He mm -hmm. said, well, you know, yes, the graphics are awful compared to today, blah, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. But he said, besides that, oh, my God, it's hard. He said, you know, he spent like three or four hours getting his first level. You know, he died a lot of times. You know, I mean, 
you know, he said, it's, he said, games aren't hard like that anymore, you know, I mean, you know, he said, it's just, <laughs> he said, it's brutal compared to current games, you know, and yeah, it made me think about it, because me and the wife played EverQuest, we loved it, and yeah, mm -hmm. EverQuest was, you know, it was hard, they didn't separate things by, like, areas you know you could be out there killing a level one spider and a level 20 bear could come up and take a big chunk out of your ass <laughs> you know yeah. the only thing you could do is run <laughs> then, if you died you had to go back and find your body you know and if you was running away from that bear and you don't remember where you died oh my god you could spend hours looking for your body so you could get your stuff back you know, and then if you were on a PvP server and somebody come along and found your body or somebody killed you, they could take, they couldn't take everything you had, but they could pick one piece. You know, mm. so you were going to lose your best piece of gear, you know? I mean, yeah, it's, I really hadn't thought about it, but yeah, EverQuest was a whole lot harder than most games now. I mean, most games now, you, you can be level 10 within a few hours. <laughs> and if you die there's pretty much no repercussions you know yeah i'm not seeing a food vendor i don't remember seeing a food vendor come around the corner I'm, i mean i'm down to 38 surely there's a food vendor somewhere right most spaceports have them but i am not seeing anything You're a teaser, right? Uh, yeah. Most other spaceports have at least a cruise vendor. Consoles. I'll look again. Maybe I missed it. Okay, here's New Deal. There's a Pips machine. Not that these work. Yeah, that'd be nice. Too nice. Um... There's the ship sells, the rental, new deal. I don't see any food vendors at all. I don't remember there being any there. I thought you had to get on the tram and go over to... Hmm. It's funny, though, because most all the other spaceports have food vendors. I think all the other spaceports do. I ain't gonna lie. Tease, I mean, usually I go there, I'm, I'm running in and buying a ship and leaving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I could fly the Corsair over to... You know what? We'll take the Vulture and we'll store it at a, uh, at a Lagrange station. I, I should be able to make one of the Lagrange stations. I want it somewhere where it's convenient to get it. So I could take it to like her all one or something like that and store it there. One point two mil for the vulture in game run. Uh what the fuck? Mighty salvage your vulture. <laughs> well, it was pretty and shiny about a minute ago. <laughs> what you, the you fuck? Them um, guys in the hangar. Apparently, a little bastard. They'll strip your ship. You got them whole leeches. And look at that crisp and clear lines too. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck, they guys? It good. Apparently. Hell, even the, the, um, all the sides of your ladder's gone. It's the stripes. <laughs> oh, it's a problem with the damn... I bet you it's a problem with the paint. Because it's the stripes. <laughs> Same thing on the other side. Yeah, fuckers. 
<laughs> you charge us for paints, and then you make them not work. What the Which shit, people? Good. Yeah, right? See when you have a repair status. Now, see, I know I bought Quantum before, Quantanium before. Let's uh, set our destination. We'll probably just go over to like her L5 or something. What the hell, game? Okay, engines are now. Yeah, but they were. It just wouldn't. It wouldn't thrust up. Let's take her out of here. Who was it that had a throttle that needed help setting it up, Ron? Do you remember? Somebody in here wanted no. to set their throttle for Star Citizen. I heard you asking somebody yesterday, I think. But I, yeah. I, I wasn't here when somebody asked, I don't think. They commented on my video and they asked for help setting up their throttle. Um, and I I reset my keybinds the defaults, and fucked around with the throttle and found a way that works. So I answered the guy's comment on YouTube, but there was somebody else in here that needed help with it. I'm trying to remember who it was. I took a screen capture of the settings, so I could post it. I need to remember who the hell it is. Uh, I must not have been here when that happened. Yeah, yeah, I really like that you VKB throttle. The stacks? The one that's got the two parts on the handle? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, she's sexy. I mean, it's it's way down on my list of things I need. <laughs> but I do like it. Mm-hmm. I like the look of it. The only thing that it doesn't have that I wish it had was an extra lever or something on the side you could use for, like, laser power. For mining lasers. Tell you what really annoys the crap out of me. You know, I got these two new nice Acer monitors. And mm -hmm. I've got this one crappy old ViewSonic. <laughs> Driving you apes it? Yeah. Well, I can't get a third of the Acers. I really? I cannot find one anywhere. Did you search for the model number on... Yep. I think the only way I'll get one is to buy a used one. Holy shit. Yep. <laughs> That's crazy. And 
the last price for them at Walmart were 120 bucks a piece. Yeah. Yeah. And there's somebody on eBay right now selling them used for 150. What? <laughs> oh man, that's fucked up. But I really want that third one to match the other two. You know? <laughs> well, you know what you do? You look you look for monitors that look like that from the front. Well, the new Acer, they moved the base amount from the bottom to the middle of the monitor like all the other monitors are. Yeah, where it should be in the first fucking place. And that would be wonderful. Except for I've got two that are mounted at the bottom. <laughs> Well, you'd put the one with a different beast amount in the middle because if memory serves, you can adjust the one in the middle, right? But I can't. I can adjust up and down so far, but I don't think I could adjust enough to. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You could 3D print an adapter, though, so that you could bolt the adapter onto the monitor and then bolt the other end of the adapter onto the, the beast amount, though. Well, the other thing is, you know. I got them at the end of that model lifespan, so they were really good prices. Yeah, the, the new model is not really good prices. Oh, was that what it is? Yeah, the one that replaced mine is like four hundred dollars right now. So, yeah, Ooh. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, as of right now, I'm looking at a used one for a hundred buck fifty. Jeez. I hate to pay that for you, you know, thirty dollars more for a used one than what a new one was, but mm -hmm. it still looks like my best way. Well, you got to wonder how long it's going to last. I am. You know. Well, I mean, hell, I've had these ViewSonics for damn. Mm -hmm. 14 years. <laughs> I still have a pair of Usonics I took to work because Jeremy was using them at work for months until wow. we could get a get a get a uh, requisition through. He used my old Usonics for months. Well, you know, the Usonics looked fine to me. Yeah. Yeah. Until I, got, until I put this new Acer right beside it and then it's like, ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that, that looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, uh, for a matter of fact, Sharon's using two of them. Mm -hmm. She's happy with them because sitting beside her 17 inch Dale monitor, those ViewSonics look great, you know? <laughs> They're a good monitor. I mean, I mean, you got to be fair about it. They're a really good monitor. Yeah. They well, were a great I mean, buy. I think they're from 2008, so mm -hmm. they're 15 years old. I mean, it's hard to complain with that. Yeah, ViewSonic used to be a major monitor brand, though. I was still happy with them. I just, I needed something bigger. Otherwise, I'd yeah. still be using them. But I needed something bigger. All right, I think we're going to leave this here. Please visit again. I haven't even visited yet. Okay. Where is my pad? There we are. So it's probably above it. Yeah. You guys can't hear this right now, but there's some very epic um, orchestral music playing. And it... it 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 hit the crescendo as I was coming around the corner and thrusting up. So I was like, oh, that's just fucking perfect there.
Whoa, 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 tiger. Whoa. What are you doing there, buddy? Proceed to sign landing bay. I am. Thank you. How do we do? Yeah, our nose was a little forward, but we're fine. Yep. Is my paint back? No, my paint is not back. You bastards. Alright, let's find a sandwich vendor or something. And store this ship. I need to get the <clears throat> I need to get the mole outfitted and ready to go out. Welcome. I need to get the MSR ready to go out. So we're probably going to wind up using the C2 or the MSR. Okay, Drake. Store. Welcome to the dark side. Oh, yeah, I'll bet they are. I'll bet they are. I'm running a pair of, uh... What are these? 34s? I'm running a pair of 34 wide screens right now. I can only imagine he's on a 55. Let's pull a transport ship that I can quickly get over there to Orson. See, I thought about going with the TV, but you know, the question is, how big is too big? Again. E depends on your distance from the um, screen. Well, I mean, I'm... Yeah. I don't know, 30 inches from my screen? You know, and so, e. Well, mine are, I have my arms stretched all the way out, fingertips out, and I'm still 18 inches from my monitors. If, if I'm my back against the backrest and I put my arm all the way out, I got like three or four inches to the monitor. God damn it, why can I not find a food shop? We're going to have to take... Uh, elevator to get a food. But see, like with you, you could just roll your chair further backwards or something. You know, I'm in yeah. a slim rig. I can't. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. to a certain degree, because I've got the joysticks mounted to the keyboard drawer, remember? Yeah. So we're largely in the same spot. I mean, I got a little bit of wiggle room, but not uh, a lot. Well, if you were going to go with like one big one, you could just mount it on the wall. True. And True. then slide your disc further away from the wall. That'd be kind of weird, but... But in the sim rig, I can't... Yeah. I can't move further away from it easily. Moonlight Sonata? Nice. All right, Noodle Bar, tell me you got food. Come on, man. My little space dude's hungry. Really? No fucking food? Where's my damn noodles, you son of a bitch? Alright, there's the bar. Oh, I love Moonlight Sonata. It's so beautiful. It's probably my favorite piece of classical music ever. Hot dog vendor! You have Venus? Do you have double venus? Yes, you have double venus. Space dude, what are you doing? Take your helmets off.
then you come into the thing if you have multi monitors how do you do that or you have the big monitor further away from you but you'd need the smaller ones to be closer <laughs> yeah that's true mm -hmm. alright each Vena saw oh wait what Oh, what the sh- Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Ooh. Veggie dog, I don't have an option to... Can you eat your- please? Eat your food, buddy. Come on. Veggie dog? Really? I don't want a fucking veggie dog. I want a piece of pig. Give me some piggy. For whatever reason, he's not shoving it in his hand. I got a dumbass face, dude. Alright, space dude, come on. It doesn't help that I'm hungry IRL, too. We ate dinner, but we ate early. But for some reason, I am just freaking starving right now. Okay, we're going to grab another one. Throw your empty can in the rubbish bin like a good boy. Okay. I guess I decided to buy a separate one. Whatever, dude. Let's buy a couple of these and throw them in the backpack. Okay. That'll work. And we don't want to get in this situation again, so we're going to see if we can buy a double dog this time. Now nah, you're working. So that must have been a back end issue. All right. So that'll keep us going. And we'll buy another can drink and shove that in there too. That should do another patch up if needed. Okay. Nice. All right. Uh, Platinum Bay. Platinum Bay. There was a vehicle weapon or a ship weapon shop here, wasn't there? Yes, there was. Let's see if they got the missiles we need for the harb. If so, we can claim the harb and get it over here. Vehicle weapon. Yes. Tempest 2 is a what? Cross section. Yeah, they don't have the ones that I need. Well, poop. No point in bringing the harb over here. So let's fly the... Aurora, I think it was, I pulled. We'll grab the MSR and get that ready. That way we can be ready for the next time. 
You okay there, baby? What's going on, Milky? Huh? You okay, Welcome Milky Nose? To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Okay. There we vehicle go. So Your vehicle has been delivered. Please visit us again. H2. H2. You know, I know it's a starter ship, but I I think I'll always love the the uh, Aurora. It's a beautiful ship, I think. A little boxy, but beautiful. Crazy. Recommended for me by Twitch, Rachel K. She has 470 people watching her. She's sleeping. What? She's sleeping. <laughs> oh. She's asleep on the couch with a blanket over. Oh, she's so cute. Welcome to the Well, you can't see her. I mean, she's. Yeah. Why the hell would you want to watch someone sleep? 470 people are. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I love my wife to death, and there are times when she's asleep, and I think she looks angelic, and I like to, you know, look at her, but that's my wife, IRL. That's not like, let's turn on the computer and stare at some chick I don't know sleep. Her alarm will go off in five hours, five minutes, and four seconds. <laughs> I just can't believe it. There's 470 people watching. Whatever. Ah, good old Twitch. I was just looking at some of this interesting stuff. Like, here's somebody streaming Lies of P. I don't know what that is. Lies of P? Yeah. I have never heard of it. Well, they had like 3,000 people watching them, so I was like, huh. what the hell is Lies of P? Mm. Ah, got it. There's Orson. I'd never heard of that one. But it's a game. Lies of P. No clue. Souls like video game. Came out nineteen. Okay. No clue, buddy. No clue. All right. Ron knows me. I swear the guy knows me well. He knows that I'll be looking for somebody to raid out to. He's like, you should raid this sleeping chick. Everyone will want to watch her sleep. It'll be great. I just find it interesting, you know, what people watch, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So see, you don't need to log out. Just tote the camera to bed with you. Yeah. See how many people want to watch her <laughs> Yeah, ain't nobody want to hear that shit. You can legit do it. Just take it in there and then turn all the damn lights off and no false advertising. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we just vibing. We what we find what will we find tonight? Okay. Measuring bandwidth with old hardware. Okay, there's a lot of people with one or two viewers here. But what are we doing? What is robotic nature doing? No description. Looks like he's in a f combat ship. Uh, playing around in the verse. What is he doing? More combat, more combat, more combat. God, there's always so much combat on Star Citizen. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Somebody's in a C2. We making big boy money. Got somebody else in a C2. What's this guy doing? How's his followers? He's got two followers. We're raiding this guy. We are raiding this guy. We're definitely doing that. All right, folks. I plan, I'm planning to stream on Wednesday. Uh, it will probably be um, Starfield. And then I am hoping to play some more Star Citizen on Friday. So maybe we can get some peeps together and do some of these illegal salvage missions and make some big bucks. If you want in on, want in on that for Finance Friday, uh, hit, hit, hit me up. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight. And we're going to raid out to this guy. Y'all have a good night. Yeah, yeah. And ding, ding, Did you just say you were streaming Wednesday? I'm planning to stream. Well, today Wednesday. is Wednesday. My bad. <laughs> it's been a long week, man. It's been a long week. <laughs>